Hola guys, happy Saturday. Saturday. Little dude and I are sitting here. He's waiting for his dad to come pick him up. And uh, I thought I better do a quick little haul video just to clear up my memory because I plan on taking a whole lot of pictures and video this evening. My sister and I are gonna go see Sebastian Manis Calco. Uh, it's tickets that I bought for her for her birthday. He's in town this weekend and I am looking forward to just letting loose, letting go and laughing because I need a little joy in my life. Um, but uh, I have a lot to do after little dude leaves and uh, I definitely want to leave everything in place and put away and uh, so I thought let's get her done. Um, we have been, well, we've been, he went with me once, he went with me one time. Uh, I've been honestly thrifting every day uh, after work. I don't find something every day, but it's just an escape from the reality of coming home and looking and searching and hunting down a little feline that I am just not finding. Uh, it's a, a, a distraction from having to come and vacuum the whole house every day because of the flea situation. It's just I've found myself not wanting to come home and not in a hurry to get little dude home to battle with the flea situation. Uh, we get it under control for a little bit, right? Just for a little bit, and then they come back. But anywho, um, so yeah, I've been going a lot. Like I said, I don't get something every day, but I did go two more times since the last stuff that I showed you guys and um, went to Goodwill once and then went to Goodwill and Thrift Town. Uh, another day, a uh, little dude found some things that he's already played with uh, in his room. I don't know if he'll come down here and want to show anything off because uh, he's currently eating his ramen <laughs> and doing Legos here next to me. Uh, but uh, let me get into uh, the Thrift Town stuff first just because it's sitting here in front of me. When did we go to Thrift Town? Friday? Yesterday, right? Friday, we went yesterday after work. I stopped off at Goodwill and then uh, picked him up and took him to Thrift Town. Now the security guard at Thrift Town knows this from forever. And um, he knows little dude likes Nerf guns and guns of all sorts. Well, he has told us many times that if he ever comes across anything that he really likes for him, he would put away for him. And he put away two guns, right? A pellet gun and a camo little, just little play uh, plastic gun. I thought that was really cool. Honestly, he was kind of giving me the creeps for a little bit. And I kept asking little dude, look, if he ever gives you the heebie-jeebies or if he ever is inappropriate or if he ever just makes you uncomfortable, let me know and I will let him know about himself or we just won't go. Uh, the man is very, very friendly. It's just in this world, the way it is, you got to be real careful with your kids. So I wanted to be sure that little dude was okay. And uh, I hadn't gone to Thrift Town in a while. Uh, and when we walked in, he said hello and found us in the store and he said, I've been looking for y'all for weeks. And he had those little guns set aside uh but i'm still very you know with people when it comes to my kiddo but anywho uh we did pick up a few other little things we found a raggedy ann she was $2.99 and if you know us at all you know we like raggedy ann because why little dude because of annabelle the original annabelle supposedly i mean the movie annabelle is supposedly based on a haunted um raggedy ann doll from back in the day and we're just obsessed with them and she was kind of cute and she's kind of clean she got little bloomers so uh she's gonna go in the wash and she's gonna go into our little collection so there's her i found little dudes in basketball shorts just basic shorts can never have enough especially right now in summer school's about to start but still these were only a dollar 49 summer school really did I say summer school? Yes, you did. Okay, I did, didn't I? School is about to start. Um, so I grabbed that. I found this beautiful, I don't even know what a fabric. Look at this fabric. I thought it was a blanket. I thought it was sheets. I thought it was a curtain. I thought it was a shower curtain. It's not. It's just this panel of um, fabric, and I couldn't get over the gorgeous combo of the turquoise and the gray. I mean, it looks so pretty together. I think I'm going to try and do some no-tie pillows I saw on Pinterest and everywhere else. Um, I think this was $3.99. I can't find a taggy. Oh, yeah. It was $3.99 for this bunch of material, and it's so pretty, so I had to have that. I found this vintage, probably late 70s, early 80s 
a pillowcase and they have sheet sets sometimes there that we had growing up and uh, they're usually like really really faded and I did find complete sheet sets but I'm not ready for the whole sheet set experience but I do occasionally will curl up on the sofa with a pillow and a blanket and watch TV especially on my migraine days and I thought this would be a cute uh, cover for one of my sofa pillows so I got that for 99 cents I found these plastic melamine, melanine, whatever, um, Ray Dunn Artisan Collection plates with Dine. I like that they're plastic if we want to eat outside, if we ever get rid of the fleet issue, uh, if we ever want to barbecue outside, or just something quick to keep out to throw a uh, dinner on. They were really cute. They were, I got four of them, and they were 99 cents each. I found these cute little brass ducks. Well, four of them. Uh, they were $1.99, and I don't know what it is with me and grass birds. Grass birds? I'm brass birds. I'm finding a lot of brass uh, uh, um, avian things, but I thought those were adorable, so these are going to go with all my other little brass things. I found four of these little shot glasses with owls. They're so cute. They were only $0.69, cents and I thought I broke one just now because... The phone face planted on him. He's dead. No, he's not. He's hanging around out there, silly cat. He looks like he's dead. Not Ozzy. Uh, Martin. He sleeps like the dead, don't he? I know. He just looks like roadkill. I found this beautiful candle called Grace Woodland Grove. It smells amazing. It has a lot of candle life left to it. They burned it just a little bit. Um, so we'll see about that. And that's everything we picked up at Thrift. No. Thrift Town. Yeah. At thrift time. <laughs> then I went to Goodwill. Um, before that, let me show you guys what I picked up. I got to bring it around to this side. Okay, so my stop at Goodwill. Oh, my head's hurting. I have a headache. I've had it since yesterday morning. But anywho, I digress because y'all know that's what I do. I rattle on. I found this really cute tin and I already have my box of detergent in it. It's this metal laundry little box and it was, oh, I don't want to tip over. My detergent in there was $3.93. I thought it was stinking adorable to hide my ugly detergent box. Well, boxes aren't ugly, but just to hide the box, make it look a little more decorative. So I've got that. I found two of these um, corningware little dishes, and I thought the shape would be perfect for my stuffed portobellos. If I ever just like want to make one or so, perfect. Stuff them. Stick them in your little toaster oven and you're good to go those were 99 cents each i found these gorgeous black uh shoes they're white house black market get this lovely and because i was gonna try and be cute today for the concert um these kind of screamed out at me for one of my outfit options because i had like four options on outfits and turns out that everything looks really really big on me apparently i'm still losing weight uh but i was debating between four outfits and I needed black cute shoes for one of them and these were perfect. I think their shoes are $5.99 or $6.99. You're full, are you sure? Yeah. Positive? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I got those. And then I'm also working on adding more pictures in my gallery up the stairwell. So I'm always looking for black frames, nice ones. And I found this one for $1.91. It's kind of a shadow box feel I thought that would be nice as an addition and then this one was $3.93 which is a little pricey for me for a picture frame but I like the style of it and it has a little pocket back here for you to put your photo so you can swap out I thought that was kind of neat so I grabbed that one and then the trip before yesterday to Goodwill yielded these goodies, okay? Now, the first thing I'm going to show you, they absolutely need to be washed. And I never buy shoes that look like they need to be washed. Um, and I don't even know if I can wash these because the bottoms are cork. But they were too cute to leave behind. Again, nostalgia slapped me in my face. I'm thinking 90, 91. These adorable little Gianni beanie these things okay there's a mesh inside and then this little lacy looking stuff tied lace oxfords are you stinking kidding me but you see how the inside is cork 
I want to spray and wash them and soak them in water and get the few little stains off of them. But I don't know if that's going to damage the cork inside. So I don't really know how to clean these. Maybe a dry cleaner might be able to help. I don't know, guys, but they were so stinking cute. I'm thinking with a dress or shorts. Are you kidding me? Adorable. I found this little thing. Uh, it is a induction 1810 um, poacher, okay? But it didn't have the lid. Uh, this was $2.92, and I looked and looked and looked until I found a lid that fit, and this one was $0.99, cents and it fit perfect. It doesn't go with it because these have the little loop handle, the little half loop handle. Uh, but it fit perfect, and it's going to serve really well for a little poacher. I love a poached egg, but I cannot poach one to save my life with the water swirl and the vinegar. Girl can't do that. So I thought that was really neat. So add that to my kitchen accoutrement. Speaking of kitchen accoutrement, I feel more like myself. Do I sound more like myself? I feel more like myself, and I think it's because I'm excited to get out of this funk that has been surrounding me tonight. Looking forward to it. But anywho... I found this neat cutting board. This, this thing, this cutting board, adorable, $2.92. I looked really carefully at it to make sure there weren't gnashes and gashes, gashes in it that could get all bacterialized and disgusting. And now it's in pretty good shape considering how old it is. I couldn't leave it behind, so I grabbed that. I found this beautiful Waterford, Waterford, crystal frame and y'all know I collect these from my bedroom. I have them scattered around my bedroom. Uh, some of them don't even have pictures in it yet. But uh, this was gorgeous. I love the detail on it. It's nice and heavy. It still has the little sticker on it and it was $3.93. And for a beautiful crystal frame, I do not mind paying that because y'all know I'm cheap. And then because like I said, I'm always on the lookout for nice black frames for my gallery. That trip I found this one for 99 cents. This one for $1.91. I like that they're matted. Just makes the picture stand out so much more. And I love the style of this one. You pop the glass out, you slide your picture in it so it's kind of floating. I do need to fill in some of the little scratch marks on this one. But it's one of these. I love these. I think they're really nice. And that was $3.93. But that's everything I've picked up. Like I said, I've been going every day, but I've been really, really good and trying not to pick up just any old thing. Uh, but I did leave a lot behind, a lot of stuff that I wanted, a lot of stuff that I could have spent my money on and then ended up putting it in the garage or gifting or whatever or just not using. I'm trying not to do that because one of my last trips, the few little dishes that I picked up, the butterfly dish and the little bird dish, I really don't, I don't have a home for it. I don't have a space for it, an immediate home and space for it. So I'm kind of looking at it cross-eyed now, like, what are you going to do with it? Um, so I'm trying not to get into that again. Uh, but everything that I just showed you is going to be used immediately or um, well, it's already being used or it's going to be used immediately or it has a home already on this trip. So um, I'm going to put in the stuff that I left behind both at Thrift Town and at Goodwill. These weren't necessarily a leave behind. I just thought they were kind of neat. I looked around to see if there was an assortment of these because I thought they would look pretty in a big metal basket, but it was just one carat. I love these, not necessarily for plates, but I like to roll up towels or use them to display picture frames. I was tempted by this little rack just to keep little dude's homework stuff separated, but I already have a drawer designated for that for when school starts, so I left it behind. I thought this was neat because it was obviously handmade, but it was the picture frame that really tempted me. I thought it was gorgeous. I really liked the look of this. It was super heavy, but I didn't have a spot for it. I thought this was pretty, but not for magazines. I was thinking more like kindling for the fireplace, but nuggin, no room. This thing gave me freaky voodoo vibes, but I thought it was kind of neat, so I wanted to show y'all. I loved the old world look of this thing for pizza, for bread, for cheese, for smacking the heck out of your kids when they get out of line, but I left it. I loved the design on this picture. It's much bigger than the picture shows, but I couldn't find any cups for it, and I didn't need another one, so it stayed. I really liked both of these pieces, that hand-blown 
bubble vase was just so pretty. This made me think of some of you, my Irish cyber sisters, my Ireland lovelies. But I didn't have anywhere to display this gorgeousness, so hopefully someone else finds it. I liked the rustic, handmade look of these. They were really pretty, but a little too expensive and nowhere to go. I have no need, no room for anything like this, but you guys, it hurt me to leave every last piece. Back when I used to collect Rockingham and I had a huge collection, this piece was the one that kept eluding me. I would find them without lids or without spoons, and here is a brand new, still in box, vintage one. I have been looking for a complete carafe with a little bottom part forever and ever, and I got really happy until I opened the box and saw it was made of kind of like a really bendable tin and it was kind of corroded, so even for $10. It wasn't coming home. This was so stinking adorable and I love a deviled egg. I wanted to bring it home, but truth be told, when I make deviled eggs, my guests hardly ever get any because I eat most of them before anybody gets here. Now these I seriously regret leaving behind. They were only $3.99 and I don't know what possessed me to put them back. I wanted them, ain't gonna lie, but I am still looking for lids for one dish and I don't want the rest of my life to be lid hunting. I thought these were really pretty, there were so many of them, and then on a different shelf they had the cups and saucers and creamer and sugar bowl, and I was tempted, but just no more room. These little things are just dear to my heart. My mom had quite a few of them growing up, real whimsical little figurines, and I'm tempted to get them, but I just don't have the look for them. And uh, I'm also going to throw in some of the options of the clothing that I'm trying to wear tonight. I already picked out the outfit I'm going to wear. Um, I was thinking about doing that on my Fluffy and Fab channel and a Get Ready With Me, but I don't know the time if I'm going to have time to do that or the know-how, honestly. What the heck do I know about doing a Get Ready With Me? Um, I know makeup is going to be an issue because one, I'm wearing a mask, and two, I've gotten darker than my makeup because of the sun. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do makeup-wise, but I do want to put some curl in my hair. So we'll see what, if any, footage I can get of me trying to get ready. Uh, but because I didn't think I was going to have enough footage for fluffy and fab or the energy really I'm just now trying to come back into myself um I didn't know if I'd have enough footage for a little video for that channel so I'm going to go ahead and put in the four options and like I said when I looked back at it I'm like geez have I really lost this much weight because I knew some of the things that I had purchased were a little on the bigger side because I was still learning the whole online ordering sizing thing but yeah, I think I've lost a little more weight because the size 14 jeans that you will see me in were not as loose just a few weeks ago. So The jeans are a little baggier this go around, but this is what I chose to wear. I love the color, the fit, it's girly and me. I liked this, even though the shorts were already a little big when I purchased them. I like this combo, but it looked like a secretary or a school teacher going out and it just gave me more office than play vibes. I love this little ruffle pink blouse even though it needs to be ironed and I like them with the color of the jeans but these jeans give me real serious mom butt and they're a little loose now than they were a few weeks ago just like the others. Ain't gonna lie, I love this look. It's loosey and goosey and free. Uh, a little big, a little baggy. I thought maybe if I tucked in the blouse and hiked up the shorts, it would work a little better. But the blouse itself uh, doesn't work because I cannot find my strapless bras anywhere. And I have funky tan lines. So maybe this for later. But anywho, until my next go around, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for hanging in there with me and being so loving and supporting and awesome. I just absolutely love y'all bunches. Bye. You want to say bye or hello or something before I click off? Where did we get that? We didn't get that out there, store, did we? I'm just carrying it. Oh, you're just carrying it. You want to say hi or bye? You're mixing your curls with your straight again. But yeah, put the straight with the straight and the curl with the curl. Right you don't need hair there. That's your part. 
How was I supposed to know? I said, if we straighten all of it, we can beeper it and you just fling it across your forehead. Oh, He's still trying to figure out what to do. Good night. Hand. Good night. No, it's daytime, so have a good time. Have a good day. Hi, <laughs> y'all.